So it turns out getting an interview with a scientist who is actually working on a coronavirus vaccine is really hard. I've been rejected left and right. It's actually a good thing. I'd rather have them working on a vaccine instead of talking to me. But I did speak with Dr. Jeffrey Baird. He is a certified pathologist at the University of Washington and helping to recruit test patients for Moderna's phase three trial of this new vaccine. This, this is the great public health challenge not just of our generation, but of, of, of many generations. So how exactly does this vaccine work? Let's first start with the basics. Right now, about 0.1 milligrams of the vaccine is being inoculated into human test patients. The main ingredient is a piece of lab-engineered RNA, which is injected into the body. It's ribonucleic acid. The RNA has an instruction manual of sorts that's given to human cells so they can begin to create spike proteins, just like the ones you've seen on the outside of coronavirus. Those red protein spikes allow it to cling to and hijack certain cells. But if our own cells are taught how to build these spikes, they can fend off the coronavirus on their own and prevent infection. And hopefully, the body is learning how to create antibodies so it can continue to fight off the virus on its own. But the early trial, they need two doses. So your immune system is really good when you first get exposed to something and then you remind it later, about a month later, and you give it another dose. Interesting side note, Dr. Baird points out that a lot of test patients are showing similar symptoms to COVID-19 after they get the vaccine. They had aches in their arms where they got the shot. They had some chills, some fever, um, and it, it made them feel under the weather. And that is actually a sign, believe it or not, that it's working. To reiterate, the COVID-19 vaccine does not cause COVID-19. 30,000 test patients are involved in phase three of the Moderna vaccine trial. 15,000 are inoculated with the test vaccine. The other 15,000 receive a placebo. It sounds strange, but scientists actually hope to see some of the placebo test subjects naturally stumble onto the virus out in the community and even become infected. That way, they know the vaccine is working. But the million dollar question, or even at this point, the trillion dollar question on planet Earth is will this vaccine actually work? Does the test tube protection translate into real in-person protection? That's one. Number two, how long does it last for? Now, the world record for fastest vaccine ever produced was for months. It was about four, four and a half years of development. Here we are less than a year after the first case of coronavirus was found. And hopefully we're getting close to a vaccine for you and your family soon.